Brandon, growing up I always heard people talking about falling in love one day. I had the expectation that this meant you will have this instant connection with someone and everything just works out and is perfect. More recently I've been hearing the phrase growing in love and you completely took me by surprise when it comes to this concept. There was always something about you, but our story took a little bit more time. Now I know why. Brooke, I am so excited the day is finally here. I get to make you mine forever and ever. I hope you know by now that I love you a lot, a whole lot, like more than evening peanut butter, honey, and chocolate chips a lot. I'm stuck on you. My love for you grows every single day, and I feel so at ease and content with my life because you are in it. Today's the day you and I get to share the beginning of our marriage with our closest family and friends. The day I've wondered about and hoped for since our first date at the cricket. I'm so grateful God gave me you for a husband, and I can't wait to start this journey with you. I love you so much, Brandon. Your bride. I love it. Thanks. It looks awesome. A consuming love when I'm with you, I have an overwhelming sense of satisfaction, security, ease. It's almost like the feeling when you walk in the door after a long day at work, finally home. You are my home. I am so excited for our future. I know there are bound to be trials around the corner, but with you I'm ready to take, tackle them. Thank you for believing in me and loving me. Thank you for the grace you show me every day. I love you so much. I'm, I'm in this for the long haul, to, to the moon and back, forever and always. I'm stuck on you. I got this feeling down deep in my soul that I just can't lose. Guess I'm on my way. Yeah. Oh, I needed a friend. And the way I feel now, I guess I'll be with you till. Yes, I'm on my way I'm mighty glad you stay Oh, I'm mighty glad you stay Yes, I Oh, I'm mighty glad you stay Brooke, you're my best friend, the love of my life, my home. <laughs> Who would have ever thought our disastrous first date would lead us here? <laughs> Wherever you are is where I belong. When I'm with you, I'm at ease and the world seems a little bit brighter. I'm so blessed to marry you and I love you. Brandon, you are the most special person to me. You are my best friend, my home, and safe place. My designated date and the best dog dad I could ask for. Um, I could have never imagined one simple Facebook message for haircut would bring us here. You not only care for me and show me so much love, but you also care and show so much love to the people in my life and in my corner because you know that I love them. Wherever you are is where I belong. When I'm with you, I'm at ease and the world seems a little bit brighter. I'm so blessed to marry you and I love you. The past four years have been the best of my life, although we've definitely had our fair share of ups and downs. Thank you for sticking by my side through it all. It takes me back to dancing to Elvis in the kitchen while making dinner with you and crazy care next door barging in unannounced on us. I promise to always put you above myself and to put God first in our, in our lives and our marriage and to listen to you always, even when you ramble, and to love you for all my days. I promise to always respect you and challenge you and push you to be all that you were created to be. I promise to pray for this marriage every day and show you grace the way our Lord shows us grace. I promise to always have spontaneous days with you. 
and I promise to always know that you love me, and I promise to always love you more. I am so excited to see what God has in store for our futures and how He will lead us through all of our challenges and triumphs. And I love you so much. I love you too. Family and friends, with the power vested in me, I now formally pronounce Brandon and Brooke to be husband and wife. Brandon, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Everything I've ever seen him do, uh, um, he's done with 100% effort, even if it was something that we weren't supposed to be doing. And you can, you can get with uh, Mr. Steve, Miss Kim, Eugene, any of the groomsmen, Brooke. <laughs> a heck of a soldier. I got to serve with him for a few years. And I'm, he's a heck of a friend, a very hard worker, a brother to me and the guys. And we're going to do a toast for the newlyweds. And uh, I just want to wish you two the best, most happiest marriage that anybody could ever have. Okay? And again, welcome to the family, bud, and let's have some fun. There you go. Toast yeah. to the bride and groom. thoughtful people in this world and I'm beyond blessed to call her my sister. I love you so much and I couldn't be happier for the both of you. Brooke, you are truly one of the most caring, compassionate, and selfless people that I know. You're incredible at what you do. You consistently make people feel beautiful on the inside and out. Um, I'm so proud of who you are and who you're becoming. And I'm so thankful you decided to move to Oklahoma to live with us, not New York or Hawaii or anywhere else. <laughs> but your love for Christ is evident and I can't wait to see what he has in store for both of you. Now, Brandon, you're very much aware of what you're getting yourself into. So, Brooke can be a little high maintenance, sometimes dramatic, and she will never, ever kill a bug if her life depends on it. Um, you keep Brooke on her toes, you encourage her, you support her, you've changed your whole diet <laughs> to meet her health needs, um, and you've already taken on the role of um, caring for her in sickness and in health. Very excited to welcome to you to this family and to call you our brother-in-law. We love you both so much. Um, cheers to the bride and groom. <laughs>